Hello everybody, this is Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for October 17th, 2016. Beautiful day ahead of us. This is a moon in Taurus and some of you already know that I love the moon in Taurus. It's a time that we can reconnect to everything concerning the fact that we are souls that came here to live our life in a materialistic world, in a body made out of physical form. Anything connected to the senses, to hearing, to seeing, to smelling, to tasting, to touching, is heightened with the moon in Taurus. We can enjoy food and drink and the company of others and aesthetics and beauty in our life much better than we usually can. And I just love it. And it's a great time to spend time with people you love. It's a great time to spend time uh, um, doing the things that you enjoy or, or whether it is cooking or gardening or just reconnecting to this world today could be great. But there is a Queen Conx to Jupiter in the morning time in, um, in Central Europe, which means that we could want to reach too far high up and, and our far-fetched ideas could bring us disappointment because they're not realistic enough. There's also a sextile to Neptune that means that we can talk to the muses, we're all artistic and spiritual, more than usual that is, and there's something about the shanti atmosphere, about the tranquil atmosphere that we can all enjoy. Our beautiful angles from the moon to the nodes at noontime in Central Europe, that's early morning in America, bring this emotional contentness, uh, the feeling of emotional contentness, and then later on there's a surge of energy coming in with the trying to Mars at around 1 p.m. Uh, Central European time, that's 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a trying to Pluto two hours later. And that really talks about finding our own power, self-empowerment, finding the strength to take things forward, the understanding that we're good enough and strong enough and able to deal with everything in our life and that's great. Not a good time to make decisions this evening in Central Europe with the Queen Kong to Mercury. can be a little confusing. That's 1400 hours, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a better time to reconcile differences and tensions that arose during the last couple of days in relationships with a sex side to Chiron uh, very late in, uh, in uh, Europe's time. That's around uh, 1 a.m. but it's around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So in this evening America, a great time for bonding and uh, re reconciliation and reading the gapes that uh, occurred during the last couple of days with a sex side to Chiron that makes us all empathic and we can better listen to other people and understand their side of the story and heal places that are painful. Mercury is still squaring Pluto, so we have to watch what we say and how we say it and make sure it's positive in our life. Mars is conjuncting Pluto, which means that we can find the power within us to deal with anything we turned away from in the last uh, couple of weeks, but it can also mean that we are more prompt to uh, having um, rage, carnality, desires come up from nowhere and this is something we have to watch, especially when Saturn is squaring the nodes and what will So now we will reap later, as I said before. I want to thank you for listening. This is Boaz Fighter. Goodbye.